There's lots of literature about how people get to the top of their profession. By comparison, there's scant information about how to be a good middle manager. The term middle management, it's an amorphous term. It can be someone who manages two people, as well as an SVP who manages oh, an entire global workforce. Middle does not really describe the scope of responsibility such a manager has. That said, I came across a terrific description of what a middle manager can be when I read Kurt Streeter's New York Times profile of Ron Adams, the assistant coach of the defending NBA champion Golden State Warriors. Adams is a former head coach, but that was not his ticket to success. He migrated to the NBA as an assistant and has remained there for decades. What Adams brings to the table is straight talk, an assistant is the go-between, working between player and coach. He's the one who relates to them as a person as well as a player. Assistants don't have authority over the player when it comes to playing time, but they do have influence. More importantly, they know each player's strengths as well as his weaknesses. Good ones like Adams find a way to shore up the former while ameliorating the latter. I'd like to be an artisan, Adams told Kurt Streeter. There's a purity to teaching as an assistant, a virtue in being a craftsman and having a craft. It's the nuts and bolts stuff that appeals to me, as well as the relationships. Managing from the middle is a balancing act. You want to do your best by helping the team and the boss succeed. Good middle managers do the following well. Understand the big picture, where the organization is headed, Root out problems. Find a way around obstacles. Work with colleagues. Live by the mantra, from me to we. And speak the truth. Good middle managers are not yes people. They gain credence through their competence, diligence, and conscience.